Excelsior, and welcome to Top 10 Archives' top unusual, and maybe even useless, superpowers found in comic books. We've painstakingly delved into some of the most forgotten pages of comic book history, at least by us, so you don't have to. For this issue, we're going to stick within the pages of Marvel and DC Comics to keep the list simple and more potentially recognized. Settle in, fellow archivist, as this is sure to be, if nothing else, an interesting look into the far-fetched creations of comic book history's biggest companies. Number 10. Color Kid Co-created by Edmund Hamilton and Kurt Swan, Ulavak, also known as Color Kid, first appeared in DC Comics Adventure Comics number 342 as an alien from the planet Lupra. Once a lowly lab assistant, Ulavak was struck by a cosmic beam of multicolored light, transforming him into Color Kid, who has the power to alter the color of any object at will. With such newfound powers, he thought only to help those in need and selflessly traveled to Earth and applied to be a member of the Legion of Superheroes. Hmm, abruptly being rejected and never being one to be in a dull mood? He kept his head high and later joined the Legion of Substitute Heroes, a group of applicants rejected by the Legion of Superheroes for having considerably useless powers. Maybe someone, someday, will see the value in always finding that sweater you wanted in just the right color. Number 9. El Guapo The young Robbie Rodriguez, or just simply El Guapo, co-created by Peter Milligan and Mike Allred, is next on our list of unusual powers. First appearing in Marvel Comics X Statics number 9, El Guapo harnesses the power of idiosyncratic manipulation but let's just call it object affinity over his sentient skateboard. A truly unusual power in a list of oddities, El Guapo is a mutant born with no real powers of his own. Starting off as an aspiring stuntman, Robbie Rodriguez became a full-fledged member of x Statics when he and his super-powered flying skateboard saved the team from a vengeful Sharon Ginsburg a mutant blaming the team for the removal of her once glorious wings. Thinking the team could benefit from his youthful good looks, El Guapo joined the team to attempt a positive facelift in the public eye. Number 8. Doorman The mutant Damar Davis, created by John Byrne, made his first appearance in Marvel Comics' West Coast Avengers Volume 2, Number 46, as he seemingly appeared from nowhere to answer a call made by Mr. Immortal to form a new superhero team. The team would later be known as the Great Lakes Avengers. Doorman's entire body is surrounded by little orbs of floating dark force matter, turning his silhouette into one man-sized portal to, well, just right behind him. This allows any person or object to pass through any other solid object Doorman stands against. He has no control over this aspect of his power, as it is constant, allowing anything, person, or object to pass through even against his will. Though later becoming a servant of a being known as Oblivion, and gained more powers such as manifestation of solid objects created from his dark matter, and the ability to travel to the afterlife. They were bestowed upon him and are not part of his mutant abilities. Number 7. Matter Eater Lad Tenzel Kim from the planet Bismol is yet another one of DC Comics' unusually powered aliens. Though unlike his predecessor from this list, Color Kid, Matter Eater Lad actually landed the 15th place in the roster of Legion of Superheroes. Co-created by Jerry Siegel and John Forte, and first appearing in DC Comics Adventure Comics number 303, Matter Eater Lad has the power to eat matter. Though not a power among his peoples, the Bismalians have adapted to eat any substance to compensate for their home planet's inability to produce substitutable food sources. An entire race of foodies, Bismalians create powerful digestive enzymes to help break down any substance. Upon placing something against his taste buds, Matter Eater Lad, and any other Bismalian for that matter, can instantly determine the chemical compound of various foodstuffs and even detect toxins within. 
To wrap up this unusual package of powers comes metabolic induced super speed, or to simplify, the more he's currently eating, the faster he goes. Now, wouldn't that be nice? Number 6. Zeitgeist The first and last appearance of the super-powered Axel Clooney, otherwise known as Zeitgeist, happened in Marvel Comics X-Force No. 116. Co-created by Peter Milligan and Alfred Allred, the young man with enhanced durability and acidic vomit would become the short-lived leader of reality TV's mutant group X-Force for a brief stint before meeting his end with the rest of his team in a publicity stunt gone awry. He was forced to wear a protective mask both on and off duty due to his inexplicably strong vomit, which was able to burn through 10 centimeters or roughly 4 inches thick steel in approximately 30 seconds. Number 5. Gen Genie Another creation from Peter Milligan and Mike Allred, making her debut and farewell in Marvel Comics X-Force No. 116, Becca Parker, already a superhero of some renown, was invited to join the reality TV version of X-Force under the direction of Zeitgeist. She has the power to generate seismic waves in direct correlation to her blood alcohol level. Though immensely powerful, the fact that she had to be really drunk to use her powers with any effect, and the fact that she was an abusive drunk who oftentimes turned her powers upon her teammates in a drunken rage, puts her on our list. Mutant born as is the rest of her team, one wonders what it would be like to sit in a bar with Zeitgeist and Gen Genie. Number 4. Tattooed Man Matt Fraction and Terry Dodson created this character, and he first appeared in Marvel Comics' Uncanny X-Men No. 504. The only character considered to be a villain on today's list, the man who goes by the alias John Doe, has the power to raid someone's mind upon skin-to-skin -skin contact, digging deep to unbury the secrets of the unlucky receiver of his touch. Upon learning of said secrets, the ink of his tattoos then shifts to form a picture of the secret. Unless you happen to be great at charades, to most of us, this is one mighty useless power. Perhaps he should have borrowed some help from the next member of this list. Number 3. Cypher The mutant known as Cypher, born as Douglas Aaron Ramsey, was created by Chris Claremont and Sal Buscema who first appears in Marvel Comics' New Mutants No. 13. Much as his name would suggest, Cypher has the power of omnilingual translation, being able to read, write, and understand fully any language, albeit human, alien, or even hidden meanings in body language. Cypher's powers have manifested due to the presence of his X-gene, Unlike that of a non-mutant translator, his powers decode language on a subconscious level. The pieces just seem to fit, whereas a human would need to work it out step by step consciously. Though I must admit, it'd be nice turning the subtitles off Satoichi every now and then. Number 2. Stone Boy Dag Wintham, a Sphenian from the planet Sven, created by Edmund Hamilton and first appearing in DC Comics Adventure Comics No. 306, has superhuman strength, durability, and the power to turn himself into a living statue. Yep, that's right, a living statue. This varies from stone skin in the fact that Stone Boy must remain immobile and inflexible while under the effect. Being super strong and durable is usually better when you're able to move as well. The Legion of Superheroes must have agreed, as he was one of the first to be dismissed and considered to have non-useful power. He would later go on to become one of the founding members of our lovable group of outcasts, the Legion of Substitute Heroes. Number 1. Uh, oh, forget me not. Real name unknown, alias of nobody, and all for good reason. The character created from the imaginations of Mike Carey, Simon Spurrier, and Christos Gage has to have the most unusual power on the list. With the power of existential superposition, forget-me-not, simply put, has the power to be forgotten by anyone and everything. This poor individual is incapable of being perceived or even remembered at all as long as he is not within their visuals. 
The moment you lose sight of him, all memories of him are wiped completely. The only exceptions to this rule are fellow mutants Phantom X and Hope Summers, who for some explained reason remember him. Even the great Professor Charles Xavier has to use a mental reminder on himself to remember Forget-Me-Not, who was reconned as being one of the original X-Men, whom no one remembered. His abilities also interfere with technological sensors as well, at one point being trapped in one of X Mansion's defenses, stating that even the security system would forget about his presence. In closing, we would like to state that this list is purely our opinion. The choices were vast, and our list only has room for 10. Did you learn something new? Disagree with our list? Who would you have liked to have seen on our list? Please leave a comment in the section below and let us know. And join us next time, comic book fans. Same top 10 time, same top 10 channel.